I'm back, baby. I'm back. I feel about your first semester here. It's only been two weeks, dude. I know. How many times have you cried already? Oh, uh, like a bazillion. <laughs> Dear Paige, I've been around for a while. The moment you left your mother's room, woo, I touched your tiny hand and you were mine. You were shiny and new, a toy for my birthday. I was there when you laughed and cried. I was there for the screaming. I was there the moment your innocence started to run. That innocence remained for a while, but it had a bruise that continued to grow deeper and darker until it was the shade of my soul, black. Now we were companions. We turned into midnight lovers on the run from everything that threatened our security. I protected you. I nurtured you. I made sure that we were partners. But now your soul is red like fire and it burns me. It is too hot for my black soul, and I fear that you will leave me. And I am watching you rise. I yell, you will never be anything. I expect you to collapse and weep, and I expect you to believe me. But instead, you come to me, and with the softest voice, you lean and whisper, watch me. And I know that I have to let you go, at least for now. Native soul, I vow so many things. I vow to acknowledge your presence in every aspect of my life. You've taken me on journeys and shown me the best things in life, and you've become my eyes into myself and the worst and greatest pieces of me. I vow to never take you for granted. I vow to appreciate the value of your worth. I vow to dig deeper every time to fully take you in, to express you at any given moment. I vow to always nurture you and build you up to the highest level of care. I vow to never put a tap on you. I vow to never be embarrassed or ashamed of you. I vow to consistently grow and change with you so that we may learn together. I vow to push you. I vow to stretch your limits and face fears for you. I vow to showcase and to treasure moments for they are mine. I vow to be the best me for you so that you can bring out the best of me. I vow to educate you. I vow to show you with those closest to me and those that are not. I vow to uphold you in the greatest esteem. And I vow all this and so much more because I love myself and to truly love yourself, you must accept all the things that make you who you are, the good and the bad. Creativity comes from the soul's outlet of emotional and intellectual energy and this energy is released for reminding us that we never stop changing and we never stop becoming who we were meant to be.